Okay, so I got the rotating magnetic field ring completed. It has two wires. Here's one end, and I've come and wound a coil here, and then it comes out, and I get another coil up top here, and then it wraps around and comes back as the second lead that connects to the uh, generator. It's going to be a two phase alternating current generator with four slip rings. And the other lead comes and makes another coil here. The end comes out and I make another coil here. And then it's going to go back into the generator. So the way this is going to work is it's going to have a bar magnet here on a rotor and it's going to have a two phase alternating current generator with four slip rings that the ends of these coils are connected to. So in a two phase alternating current generator you have two coils that are in a 90 degree formation on the inside with two stationary magnets. So by getting those two coils to turn around those stationary magnets you're going to get this bar magnet to turn in response. And by these coils being set up like this, it'll be able to send an alternating current back into the wires and the two coils that are not receiving current from the motor. So in a sense, these two magnets and the alternating current generator will be causing rotating magnetic field in two coils. And at the same time as the magnet rotates, it'll cause an alternating current in the other two wires that'll go back into the motor that will cause a push and pulling effect towards the stationary magnets that will allow it to continue to turn. And I found a document that will have a better explanation. It says that the theoretical relationship between the energizing effect of each set of primary coils and the resulting mag magnetizing effect may be expressed by the equation of a circle. And the circle, the equation of a circle is um, pi, or it's potentially infinite. So that's the constant, I believe, that this document is trying to describe for the rotating magnetic field motor. Not sure where this came from, but it sure helped me uh, building this ring for the rotating magnetic field. Okay, so I got the ring done. Now I need to find a two phase alternating current generator. So I'm pretty sure this is how it works. One coil here, one coil here, comes back into the motor, another coil here, wrap out, another coil here, into the generator. So I'm going to try and get a two phase alternating current generator and get some slip rings and connect these four leads to it and get a bar magnet to put here on a rotor and see if I can get the push and pulling effect that I think is going to happen. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll try to post up a continuation video as soon as I can.